Hello, I'm John Furrier with theCUBE here with Vittorio Villaringo, Vice President of Cross Cloud Services of VM. We're previewing the upcoming SuperCloud 2, January 17th. Vittorio, we got our next SuperCloud 2. Thank you for your support at VMware. Thanks to the VMware folks and the ecosystem for sponsoring this important movement. But we have great agenda. SuperCloud 2 has momentum. Why is it growing? Why are people interested in SuperCloud? Why are people leaning into it? Now we have customers. Why is SuperCloud important for people to pay attention to? Because every customer jumped into the cloud with two feet and went cloud first, deliberately, and now they end up with multiple clouds. 85% of our customers use two or multiple clouds a day, and each cloud is its own silos with all management tools, security, and uh, they end up in what we call cloud scales. And this term really resonates with our customers. So it's time to usher a new era of cloud computing that allows our customers to right, use the right uh, cloud for the right application. Why should CIOs and CISOs, Chief Information Security, pay attention to SuperCloud? Why is it important for them? Because at the end of the day, it's the CIO that is being asked to figure out what is the compliance, the security posture of their application. The developers can go wild and innovate, but at some point, somebody needs to figure out where my applications are, are they secure, are they compliance, and this is coming. Why are developers interested in SuperCloud? They want a continuation, they got good Good days right now, coding is great. Why is SuperCloud important for developers to pay attention to? The key in a proper implementation of the SuperCloud or cross-cloud services, the way, the, how we call it at uh, VMware, is that developers, don't, they don't need to know. They keep developing the way they're developing. It's about getting the operation team to fit in into the workflow and lay down the foundation, lay down the, the tracks, so that when developers build codes, the codes ends up in a place that is compliant, secure, and at a lower cost. You know, SuperCloud has got the traction from mainstream technology fans, technologists, people in the industry, people, practitioners working. SuperCloud is resonating with common people in the industry. Why do you think that's possible? Because it's a true problem that everybody experiences today. Whether they are uh, explicit about it or is still in denial. I talk to customers sometimes, they say, oh, we are in one cloud. I say, really? Oh yeah, yeah but the business unit is, is using AWS. And oh, we just bought a company that's using cloud, uh, sorry, uh, Google. So there you go, you have four clouds. And then you have another type of denial, which is, oh yeah, yeah, we're using multiple clouds and we're building our own management tool. Well, no, you're not. Eventually you're going to buy it from somebody. And then you have customers like S&P Global, uh, VMware customers that said, yep, I, I had to get in front of the developers. I laid down the foundation of Kubernetes using Tanzu, so I know that the applications are secure, and I'm using VMware Cloud to move to the cloud uh, at unprecedented speed. So you see the whole gamut of like uh, you know, uh, journey to the cloud there. We've done hundreds of interviews over the past few months with cloud practitioners and experts. All of them are saying that costs are important with the looming recession, and it's been the glory days are over from a leave the lights on, leave the doors open, keep everything pumping. People are reining in and fine tuning their costs. What do you see is that as the big important cost driver? Because people are spending more to save more. That's the cloud model. It's not cutback, it's spend right. Right sizing is a big part of cloud. I think the innovation is fostered by one or two things. Either you know, you're, you're investing to grow because you know, you, your money is cheap and, and you can invest freely, or there is a, a tightening of the, of the belt coming and that uh, makes you, uh, forces you to be smarter. I think now we're going, we went through that phase of like growing, 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 go, 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 cloud first, cloud first, got multiple clouds now, now it's time to like rationalize and figure out how you're going to make the most out of this multi-cloud environment at a cost that makes sense in tough times. Why should compliance and governance people pay attention to super cloud? If you wanna, they want to keep their jobs. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I mean, applications manage enterprise data. They manage customers' data. And, and we built all these applications that are out there. You need to know where they are. You need to know that they are compliant. You need to know that they are secure. And so, yeah, you better pay attention. Security is the number one baked in conversation everywhere we go. Why should security practitioners and people pay attention to security with respect to super cloud? Because uh, there is this fallacy that they think people have resisted the cloud because it wasn't secured. Then they realize that each cloud is actually, in average, more secure than your prem sometimes, and they went to the cloud, and now they're like, okay, the cloud manages my security. No, the shared responsibility model, you as an enterprise IT you know, director of security, you're still on the hook 
for your share of the responsibility for the security in the cloud. So it, it, you cannot delegate it to the hyperscalers. Final question, a fun one. Why should people pay attention to theCUBE? The Cube is the place where stuff gets discussed. The future is discussed right here at the Cube. <laughs> Victoria, great to see you. Thank you for your time on this preview. January 17th, be there. We're live stage performance here in Palo Alto. We're going to be streaming to audiences virtually, and it's going to be a great event, SuperCloud 2. A lot more practitioners and industry leaders weighing in and advancing the open conversation. It's open to you, it's open to everyone. Please join the community, participate, have a voice in the future. I'm John Ford, Venturio here. Thanks for watching.